all here in the kitchen. I'm not doing any cooking just yet. Got to cook my tea later on. But uh, I'll try and cook up a recipe for success for you. This brief podcast is all about proofreading. The thing that I dread doing. What's proofreading? Well, it's looking through your assignment, your paper, your essay a few times before you submit it. Looking for errors. Oh, well... Pardon me, Mr. Perfect! I guess I forgot that you never ever make a mistake! So you're looking for writing errors, you're looking for grammatical errors, you're looking for some errors in the structure of your sentences and your paragraphs. That's about it. It's the kind of final reading before you submit. Now, if you've got problems with uh, writing skills, if your grammar and spelling and syntax aren't up to scratch, Proofreading becomes even more difficult, so the advice there is go to learning support in your university. They're known by various names, but basically every university these days has staff who can help you with your writing skills, improve your writing skills, or put support in place if you have a disability that affects your writing. If your writing skills aren't that bad, you may still have trouble. I have a lot of trouble with proofreading. If I finish writing a paper or an essay and then if I read through it a couple of times before I submit it, I'll spot some errors but I won't spot all of the errors. And that's because I'm too close to what I've written. When you're writing you've got everything up in your head and the trick is you're trying to get what's up in your head down on paper. That's the the struggle. But you do that, but the ideas are still up in your head. So when you come to reading through your paper, you'll fill in the blanks from the ideas in your head. So you know what you intend to say. So if it doesn't, um, if it doesn't read in the way that you intended, it's hard for you to spot because all you will read is what you intended to say and you'll miss spelling errors because you know what word you meant and the word might look a very different word but you won't see that because you know what word should be there. It's really hard uh, but it's really easy for someone who doesn't know what's in your head because they see it fresh. They don't know what arguments you're making, they don't know what words you intended to use. All they see is what's in front of them on the piece of paper. So for them it becomes really easy to spot the errors. That's why people employ proofreaders. So journals typically Uh, Academic journals will employ proofreaders to look through uh, the work of authors and find the errors. You may not be able to afford a proofreader, they're quite expensive, but you don't need to employ a proofreader because there's a trick for doing proofreading. And that is, write your assignment, your essay, your paper, and then put it away in a drawer, leave it there, don't look at it again for at least three or four days, preferably around a week and then get it out of the drawer and then do your proofreading and you'll be able to see errors that you wouldn't have been able to see previously because all of the ideas are not in your head anymore or not so fresh in your head other stuff is in your head now you know like what do you need to cook for your dinner and stuff like that so it's easy for you to spot the errors now big drawback here you may have noticed which is that it means you have to finish writing your essay about a week before you're due to submit it And that's the struggle because that takes a lot of self-discipline. Most universities, if you're a university student, most universities now will tell you up front what your assessments are. And most tutors with well-designed programs of study will tell you at what point you have the content you need to be able to complete your assignment. And in most circumstances, you should have two or three weeks from the date where everything's been presented to you to the date that you're submitting your essay. So... So you can do it, but it does take a bit of self-discipline. It means you have to set yourself an arbitrary deadline. Set yourself a deadline a week before it's actually due to be handed in, and then just tuck it away, don't look at it, and then pull it out four or five days later, read through it, and you'll be able to spot your errors, and you'll have time to correct them before you submit them. Okay, so good luck with the proofreading, and see you in the next podcast. Ta-da!